So I just had to run outside and bring in all my dahlias out of the grow house because it's turned really, really damp. And the slugs are out in force. I was really gutted because this one, Bora Bora, is the daily that I'm most looking forward to seeing how it performs. It's a fantastic colour, very exotic looking. And it was the one with the best growth. I planted this up maybe three weeks ago. But he's in now, so hopefully no critters can get to it. And I have... This one isn't showing yet any signs of growth. And this is... Ooh, Seattle. Excuse the note with the white lemon, that's just to give me a guide for when I'm planting. Is that a tiny bit of growth there? Oh, maybe. Oh, I think it's showing some signs of growth, which is fantastic. This was my most recent purchase. I got this from Farmer Graces. And the surface was excellent. I received my order within two or three days. And that one's looking better than I thought originally. And here, oops, ah, oh, little tiger. Now this one I got from Wilco's, and actually, this is also showing a little sign of growth, which I'm thrilled about because 48 hours ago they weren't looking so great. So now I have some good growth here and little signs here. Which during this lockdown, I love gardening, but I feel so fortunate to enjoy gardening and have this hobby. Although it might be difficult sometimes without a greenhouse, it's keeping me going. And the thrill that I feel at seeing a tiny bit of growth is astounding. I also have, I'm going to say Procyon. No signs of growth yet. Which concerns me. Uh, because this was one of the first ones I potted up, so it's actually been in three to four weeks. And the next one was potted up on the same day. And this is Apricot Star. This was sitting at the side of Bora Bora, but the slugs seem to have uh, not noticed this one, so hopefully it'll continue to thrive, which is brilliant. I've kind of had to put my dahlias around the house on all the windowsills where I can find space. And this one is Sylvia, and I picked this up at a garden centre. I was just starting to buy a little bit, looking forward to the spring. And I think I purchased three or four dahlias in garden centres. This was one of the more expensive ones. It was about 350. But it's um Pompon Dahlia. It's not my grandma's name was Sylvia. I also have another pom pom which I think this will complement. So on my third window sill, I have Let's see. My little porcelains have gone out of the way. Now, excuse if you see much dirt on this window sill and on the walls. This is the spare room. And as I've been growing lots of seeds and doing all my germination on here, it is a little bit grubby. Can't really see much growth on here. This dahlia is Akita. Now, this was one that I purchased from Farmer Gracie in that order. So I'm not too concerned because this hasn't actually been in for very long and next I have oh Franz Kafka this was my other purchase from Farmer Gracie who I would actually would highly recommend they came really well packaged really quick service no signs of any growth yet on Franz Kafka this is the daily actually that I think I'm going to plant at the side of Sylvia one is really bright pink this one sylvia is a very rich orange and i love to see orange and pink together 
I personally thank Yves Saint Laurent for that because many years ago in the fashion industry, Yves Saint Laurent was the first designer that actually put the colours pink and orange together and it was a huge hit and caused a wave in fashion so it's kind of colours that clash but look superb together and here we have Sweet Love which is a pale pink with a hint of white this may even have a tiny hint of lemon oh I think that might be a tiny tiny hint of growth So that's all my dahlias, all nine of them that I'm growing and hopefully now that I've bought them in from the slugs the weather has turned really grotty and it's quite chilly now so I don't really want to put them outside. I'm just hoping my hostas survive too. I do have some seedlings still in here. I've transplanted all of the others. This is Alison, carpet of snow. I kind of planted these 10 days ago as an extra because some of my Alison weren't doing so well and this year my plan was to actually produce oops, quite a lot of Alison. I'd like to fill the edges of the borders with carpet of snow. Depends on what kind of crop I get. The next set of seedlings it's Iberis or Iberis candy tuft lilac and I only actually had these because I got a pack of seeds free with the magazine publication Garden Answer. And I almost didn't do them, but I popped them in was about seven, eight days ago. And I thought, what have I got to lose? I've also popped some in a pot outside. And uh, I'm just hoping to see, compare the outside pot to the inside. I'm not getting any second set of leaves on there yet. They're looking a tiny bit dry, I might give them a little touch of water today. We'll see how that goes. These are kind of going to be extras, but the problem I have is if the weather doesn't improve, my grow house is now full. So, I have, so everything's kind of having to stay indoors for now. It's quite frustrating because not having a lot to do with my days at the moment while I'm not at work, it would be nice to just grow lots and lots of plants and maybe donate them to local people who can't get out and buy plants. A lot of people these days without being in work can't afford to go out and buy plants. Yeah, so I wish I could grow more. And the next tray, tiny hint of life in there. If it grows a second leaf, who knows? And these are geraniums, which I've been told are quite difficult to grow, but I actually think they're doing quite well. So yeah, we'll see how these come along. These have actually been in maybe three weeks. Then we have, three, six, I have nine dahlias which I've grown from seed. For the first time that I've grown them. They're looking a teeny bit leggy and I've, re I've just been pinching them off. They've all got their second set of leaves. This one here, lost a leaf there. But they're, they're looking really good actually. I'm just ready now for potting them on, but I'm struggling to do that. I'm not able to because I have no room in my grow house. Dahlias, Iberis, I think I'll say candy tuft, it's much easier. And Alice some carpet of snow, and hopefully my lovely dahlias. Well, that's my little update for today. And I'll produce another update soon. Bye. <coughs>